Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we'll look at a few commands we can use when we are troubleshooting issues to do with the Wi-Fi network. Now, based on uh, some of the equations that I'm getting on one of my videos, uh, how to connect uh, Wi-Fi on Kali Linux, I figured I'd do a video to show some of the few commands available to us to troubleshoot uh, any issues you might run into. Now, I'll, I'll cover some of the uh, issues to do with checking whether the interface is up or down. And then there is also commands for checking on the firmware to make sure you're not having issues with the, your drivers. So let's start with the first command, which should show us whether the interface is up or down. Now, I'm on the terminal on uh, Kali Linux, and I'm running this IP link command. What this command does is it's just going to check whether the Wi-Fi is up or down. and I'm seeing the interface, it's called WLAN0 and the mod is up. So you just want to make sure this is not showing us down. And if it's down, you can try to uh, bring it up by using sudo IP link and then set WLAN0 up. And then you'll have to put in your password. Now that's one quick command you can use to verify that the wireless interface is showing and it's showing as being up. Now another command is a small tool for extracting hardware details of your wireless uh, card or wireless adapter. Now the command is ls for list hardware and when you want to show information specific to your wireless interface you'll need to do sudo lshw and then dash capital C and then network. This should list all the interfaces and then it's gonna provide you more information. For instance, it's seeing this interface here, Ethernet interface, and you have bus information, you have the version, the serial, uh, the size or speed. And then if we go down, you have another one here, another network, and this is the wireless interface. Uh, it's bus information as well. And then it's going to give you the serial and then the configuration and even the driver right here. Now, this one is important because the next command will run for checking if you're having issues with the firmware. We'll need to put this information right here. So that's the next one. Now, the next command I'm going to run is going to be for checking kernel messages, which will tell us if the drivers or firmware is loading correctly. And uh, for this command I just ran, if you don't have it, you might not have it to install it. Just use sudo app install and then lshw. That should install it for you if you don't have it installed. Now, the command I was talking about is dm esg. And then we'll say grep. Remember the name of our driver started with ATH. Now this is the one that's going to tell us if the firmware or the drivers are loading correctly for the wireless interface. And as you can see here at the, at the beginning, there was a, you failed to load like twice. There were some errors. Then eventually there was a success. It loaded. And after that, you see that it's even going to show us the country maps or the country code right here. What it's using is saying uh, it's using USA. So initially there was a few failures, but eventually it did load correctly. Now, if you're having issues with your firmware and it doesn't load, you'll just keep getting errors. So I can show you an example of uh, something I saw online. Uh, somebody had posted an issue they were having and it turned out to be a firmware issue. So they needed to install the correct firmware to fix their issue. And this is the output they were getting for the similar command. As you can see here, they are getting the, um, the error when the firmware was trying to load. You see that it was failing. And then even shows here that they uh, failed to fetch board data for bus. And then it continued to fail. So the errors didn't stop. So it kept, it kept going. The errors kept going. So in that case, it's a firmware issue. Now, if US is not having issues with firmware, you should have something similar to this. Now, those are the two fast commands you want to use. Now, we can move on to other commands that are available to us that we can use to either, again, enable or disable the um, wireless interface. And even we can scan to see what's available as far as access points. We can even change uh, information such, such as the 
frequency and the channel number and let's go over some of the commands we have another command you can use to get details on your wireless interface is the iw list command so i can do iw list by itself it just shows us the different options we have we do iw list the interface and then you can show different information such as the frequency, the channel, the modulation, and so on. Uh, let's see a few examples here. And you, you can even scan to see the available wire, um, access points. So this command needs you to use sudo and then IW list, the interface name, then we can scan. If you're not getting an error here, you should be able to see the different access points that are available to you. So it's listing quite a, a few. Okay, it shows you the, the address, which is the MAC address, the frequency it's on, the channel, and the information like that. So it's going to be quite a few that's within your range. The other thing we can do is we can show channel information, like I said. So, so the command will be sudo iw list. Uh, let's say wlan0 and then channel. So these are the different channels, channel 1, 2, 3 up to 11 that are available and it's also showing us the frequency 2.412 2.417 and so on okay we'll move on to the next command the next command is the iw config command that we can use to show information on our on our wireless interface and we can also use it to change some parameters like frequency channel and, and so on so if you're gonna change these parameters, you need to know what you're doing so you don't mess up your so you don't mess up your configuration. Now I can do I W config by itself and it shows me WLAN zero. It gives me the ESSID that I'm uh, connected to, the mode if it's managed, the access point information, power, and so on. Now if I needed to change any of this, I will do sudo IW config wlan zero then i'll say maybe i want to change the channel to 11 i'll put 11 there press enter so i'm not going to change this that's one of the troubleshooting steps you might want to do change the channel stuff like that and see if that's going to fix your issue so let's move on to the next command now the next command again is similar to yw config it's the if config command which is going to show us the interfaces information as well and it can also we can also use it to shut the interface or turn it into down state and up state or to bounce it see if we're able to fix an issue that way so you say sudo i f config and then you say that we run zero down for instance and now if i do ip link you see it's down and i can bring it back up and repeat the command and say up. this backup now the last command also shows us whether this interface is disabled the command is rfq so the command is rfq so rfq so it's telling us the id for wlan is zero you can also use rfq list all to see all interfaces that are either wireless or bluetooth and this command can also be used to block or unblock so you can use RFQ block and then you put the ID here zero and to unblock you say unblock then you put the interface ID this one right here so that's it for this video those are the different tools that are available to us some some of the issues that People are reporting is that the people are seeing that the available networks is grayed out on the under their Wi-Fi networks. So, like I say, in most cases that's to do with the firmware. So you want to run the, the first commands. We run the first two sets of commands to verify that you're you're not seeing any errors related to your firmware or your drivers. So I hope this information has been helpful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.